Hi, welcome to Gardenville. I'm Catherine. And I'm Susan. Susan, what are you talking about here now? What I have here, Catherine, is, uh, nothing's in flower here, obviously, as you can see, when we've been doing things in the back. But this is just to demonstrate how effective leaf contrasts can be. You can see here, I've got the soft, sort of limey green. Now, this is actually lovely. What is, is this? This is a Cornus Alba um, Aurea. Well, well which, done to yeah, remember. I know the brain sort of <laughs> stops dead every so often. Cornus <laughs> Alba Aurea. Yeah. You have two advantages from this. You have nice red stems. If it's in a sunnyish area, you have nice red stems in the sun, in the winter. And the rest of the time, then, you have these lovely soft lime green leaves. Yeah, and you know, they're nearly oily, <coughs> aren't mm. they? They're very, very delicate. Now, the thing yeah. to do, I know I've said you get better red stems in the sun, but in the, it, this needs a bit of shade, because otherwise the leaves scorch because they're, such, they're so fine and so pale. Okay, yes, because there is a big contrast yeah. between this and leaf I have it, and that yeah, leaf. I have it yeah. contrasting here now with the very dark green leaf of the Viburnum Davidi. Now, first of all, can I just ask you, does this flower? It does have a fairly insignificant flower during the summer, yes. Okay. It's not really grown for its flower. And is it evergreen? It's not evergreen, it's deciduous. It's deciduous. Whereas okay. this is evergreen. This is evergreen. Now. This Viburnum David Ike, it's a fantastic plant for shade, in the shade of a building, or there again, it will grow in the sun, of course, as well. Now, that's handy for the shade of a building. If yeah. somebody has, what do you mean? Give me well, an I idea. Mean, if, if you've got, you know, growing, I've seen it growing along a wall, which was north facing. You know, it will take shade. <coughs> I'm not sure that like being totally under trees or anything, but it'll certainly take the shade from the building. And it does have a flower. You can just see the flower is beginning oh, yeah. there. So, so it's a late flowering. It's, well, it's early flowering, really. This won't be flowering now till early next year, early spring. Which always confused me. When I see a little thing like that, I go, oh, we're ready to come out. Well, not quite. No, but it's the going leaf, to take the whole winter yeah. now. It'll and just be like that, will yeah. it? Yeah. The, the leaf is, I find it a hugely attractive plant because the leaf is, is, is lovely with its defined veins. It's quite, and it's it's sort of, um, it's not a flat leaf. It's not a flat no. leaf, there's plenty of, of texture it's in it. Yeah, there and is. And the other advantage of this plant is, if it gets out of hand, you can prune it as hard as you like right. and it will regenerate. This has been pruned a couple of times. If let go, it would be up here, sort of, you know, quite big. Okay. But or can you can run through. it along a wall if you or want to. Or you can to. run it along a wall and you can sort of, yeah, but it's a very useful plant So for plant anybody for looking areas. maybe to cover an area, Susan, would that be the It's sort a of very thing? useful plant for shady areas, yeah. And it's not deciduous. It's not deciduous, it's and evergreen. And you buy it, I presume, you buy in it the... in a pot yeah. as a shrub. As a shrub. Um, okay. It can look fairly insignificant in a pot because you're just going to get one sort of branch-like effect maybe just as yeah and you'll be sort of going what's that going to do yeah but yeah. once it gets going it, it i think it's a super plant it's one of my um, favorites no maintenance really apart from pruning it um my one gets zilch care and attention and it just grows away merrily yeah okay mm. but you have a good soil again I well for all this obviously sort of with, the, with the better the soil the better things are going to grow yeah um, okay it's like any plant once you're getting it established you water it to start with you know once you've yeah, you're, and you're talking about watering it once a week. Um, there again, it very much depends on the weather. Okay. I can't give yeah. you a hard and fast. Right. You know, okay. Okay. 